Wagwan GVO family, happy Friday. Last video, y'all showed a lot of love and it, it took a long time to make a video like this, but you guys hit that 1000 like goal. Let me know who you want me to dribble like next or show you some of their favorite moves in the next episode of that series. Now I've been enjoying the new season, even though I've only played it for one day, Send which it. is yesterday, which is why I'm only a level five. But guess what? Don't worry. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get on that grind soon. As soon as the squad get on, all right, y'all know me. Send I'm it. Loyal to the squad. I gotta wait till the squad of them jump on. But I've been going crazy with this new 6-4 build that I got ready for this new season. Even though this is my first day using it, and I'm telling Send you guys, it. it's amazing. Silver limitless range is all you need. Now, if your build is a 6-1 and you can afford to do 92 three ball, then guess what? Have fun with it. But for me, saving that one point actually gives me a lot more freedom on other builds. Let me know if you guys want this new 6-4 build. It is my favorite build right now. I made it differently. Now, this is my 6-9 PG. Before I show you guys my 6-8 that I'm about to show you guys, this is the 6-9 PG that you saw me using over the last couple months and y'all fell in love with the gameplay, right? Y'all said y'all wanted to see me on a 6-9 because you can't just outrun a defender. And y'all seen what I was doing on my 6-9. If you don't know what I was doing on my 6-9, just go check out the other videos on my 6-9 and you'll see what I was able to do with it. Now, let's jump into making the best 6-8 point guard that you can make, but still be able to get elite defense. Like the best defense on a real point guard that you can get. Now, off the rip, I'm not compromising with the dunk. I'm gonna go with an 88 dunk for the MJ dunks. I'm gonna go with an 88 three-pointer or 87. The reason why is before I even upgraded my 6.9 all the way, I just kept it at an 87 and I was still shooting from half court. So I'm not compromising on that. Like I know I can shoot really good on a 6.9, especially with sharp take, you're gonna be straight. You got MJ dunks. Now, obviously I'm going through it quickly cause I'm not trying to waste your time and I'm gonna show you guys how to really finesse this build. 89 ball handle and I'm not compromising that, especially since steals are reverted, all right? You want to get that Hall of Fame quick first step on this build with that 82 acceleration. That's going to make the build move fast, faster than a 6'9", all right? So you don't want to compromise on that, right? 76 pass accuracy. To me, 76 makes it feel a tad bit faster, but if you just want to be, you know, safe, just go with 75. You don't need anything above 75 unless you're playing comp stage. But if you're playing comp stage, you're probably going to have a build with at least a 93 ball on a build like this, because obviously in there, they got elite defense. Now, we're going to get the defense looking elite on this build, right? Like a guard should not be able to get the defense you're going to see me be able to put on this build. Now, don't get this twisted. This is this is not the final stats. I'm just showing you guys different versions of it right now, because maybe you like this version and you say, you know what? This is the one I want to make. But look at the badges. It's 10 badges. All right. 10 finishing badges. Unless you've been hitting level 40 every season, you're going to need more than that. So we're going to finesse it and we're going to fix it and make it at least 13. So when you add the plus four that you get from my career, it's going to give you 17, which gives you gold limitless takeoff. All right. Now, defensively, the build is already elite. I don't have to do anything more to the defense and it's going to still be elite, right? Now you do get Hall of Fame quick first step. You get gold unpluckable. If you want Hall of Fame unpluckable, you're going to have to sacrifice some of the defense and put up that 95 post control. But if you're going to go with a 95 post control, you might as well put your three ball to a 90 at least or a 91 and put the plus one sleeve on there. And it's going to make it an offensive and well-rounded comp build, right? Because you'll still have some defense. now. I'm not going to put the steel to an 86 because 99% of the locks I play against in the stage that's been ripping me on my builds with gold unpluckable have an 85. When I have a Hall of Fame unpluckable build out there, I barely get ripped. All right. They just look stupid reaching and I just run by them. Right. But I can show you guys how to make a well-rounded 6-8 build with Hall of Fame unpluckable if you want to play comp with it. But this is for more people that play park that want to go crazy and know that they can do everything that I can do on my 6-9 that they seen me doing on my 6-9 even as an 81 overall. Right but have defense like a real true lockdown, right? And you see, you get Hall of Fame chase down, gold challenger, gold clamp, silver anchor, silver pogo, silver glove. What more do you need? Hall of Fame menace. You don't even need rebound chaser. The only bad part about this build is that anchor is tier three, but glove on tier two makes up for it, all right? I wouldn't even run interceptor because I get the same steals when I'm not even running interceptor, right? You don't need interceptor. You just got to be all about timing. All right. Work on the timing. The, read the passing lanes. Right. But you're getting Hall of Fame chase down. You can literally just say, I want to play lock with this build and play lock with this build. 
But then if you don't want to play lock with this build, you can say, okay, sick corner, I'm going to take over this game. And you can give buckets just like my 6'9 can with a 92 three ball, right? 88 dunk. You get a faster acceleration. You get pretty much, a, you get a higher ball handle. Hall of Fame quick first step. You're able to do everything on offense with this build that a 6'9 can possibly do. Even fade. Trust me, you can fade with an 87, especially on these bigger builds where it's easier to shoot. I've done it on my 6'5, I've done it on my 6'9, and I've done it on my 6'6 before I upgraded the build all the way. My 6'9 was a no VC spent build, and I was able to get that build up through the mud, and I really got to see what it's like to shoot with a build that's a low three ball, and I'm talking about like 83, 84 three ball, and I was still shooting from half court. Now, obviously, if you break a shot or you get a, a turnover, your three point is going to drop, your ball handling is going to drop. And when you're that low overall, you're probably not going to green every shot anymore. But let's say you just start off with a dunk or an assist or you do something right. Your green window is open and you're going to be sparking that thing. Now, right now, we're trying to finesse the build to get that 13 badge count while still maintaining 20 defensive badges. Right. And we just figured out how to do it. All you got to do is put your layup to a 79. And now you have a little bit more wiggle room to say, you know what? Let me try to fix something else on defense and, and see what else I can put out. And you're able to put up your interior to a 72. And that pretty much makes the build solid. Now you got 21 defensive badges again, 20 playmaking, 19 shooting and 13 finishing. And when you add the plus four to the finishing, you get gold limitless takeoff. Now, usually before I show you guys a build, I would have... I would have already made the build and pretty much gotten them to like a 95. But since I have 30 builds already on this game, there are certain builds that I'm not just going to keep waiting to drop when I know I already know this build I'm going to drop. I'm going to just drop it for you guys for those that maybe have the money right now or see VCs on sale or 2Ks on sale. You just got the game. You want a build that will take you for the rest of the year. I'm going to drop builds like this for you guys. Let me know if you want me to keep doing that or you want me to just make the build first and wait all that time to show you guys because i already have three builds that i have not shown you guys already at a 95 and one of them 2k gave me with the logo maxed out 99 build max badges if you want to see that build it's already on twitter but i'm going to be dropping that build pretty soon for you guys i'm about to max it out with the vc vc kind of i'm not gonna lie vc take your soul away bro that, that's 433k for that vc to max it out at a 98 Whew. No joke, man. And I got 30 of these bills, bro. Make sure you hit that like button for y'all man gaming. Or you're gonna have to start that GoFundMe for a brother. Now, you saw I was able to put lock take if I wanted, obviously, because it's an elite build. They call you a two-way three-point shot creator. That was my build on 2K21. And it was disgusting. Now, I'm gonna show you guys for those that are 50 that you don't want to shoot with an 87 three ball. I'm gonna show you guys how to make it well-rounded. We still get the 88 dunk with a 93 ball if you can't shoot a 93 ball it's probably you're probably delayed you probably need to fix your internet or you probably got something going on that you don't know about all right because it's really easy to shoot on this game this year on a small guard it's a different story when you're on a small guard it gets a little trickier especially when your stamina is depleting but anyways you see i'm able to run hall of fame chase down if i wanted to run pogo i can run that pogo and i can run glove but i'm trying to run anchor with it so I'm going to be wise with how I choose my badges. Now, we already know that Challenger only helps making them miss the shot, right? At the end of the day, you're not going to force more of a contest with Challenger. That's not how it works. It's been confirmed. It's been cleared up for me. I thought that's how it worked, but it's not how it worked. So what I would do is I would drop the Challenger down to bronze because I'm not going to lie. I've seen people make crazy shots over gold Challenger all day, even Hall of Fame Challenger, right? So I will drop it down to at least bronze so you can run that anchor on silver and boom, this is how I would run it. All right. Now, if you don't need anchor on silver, just take it, you know, put it on bronze. If you don't feel like you need challenger, take off challenger. Right. And you can put it on all kinds of badges. Now, playmaking wise, you can run a lot of different lineups with this, but your essentials are always going to be quick first step, handles for days and unpluckable. We already know this, right? And you see unpluckable all the way in the bottom right so if you want to run unpluckable you're not gonna be able to run clamp breaker now real quick let me show you guys the version of the build that is still good defensively but you have a good three-pointer for those that you know what you feel like you're 50 i would definitely make the build this way all right 
you're going to get all the essential badges you need. You're going to be able to run tier three on every single lineup. And not only that, you're only going to be missing Hall of Fame chase on artists. That's pretty much it. And Silver Anchor. Other than that, you're going to be getting every single thing you need on this build to really just do everything on the court. All right. You're not going to be lacking anything on the court. You're going to be able to dribble like a small guard. You're going to be able to move as fast as a six, nine, even faster. And you're even even with these crappy six that I have on in this little builder, you're able to just literally do whatever you want. I can shoot it three times already. And you see the speed boost on it is really good. But anyways, as promised, this was literally the best defensive six, eight point guard build I've seen, not just six, eight, but in reality, just in general, the best defensive point guard build that I've seen this year with still having good all around offense and elite all around finishing because Michael Jordan dunk packages is all you need with quick drops and front clutches and you have both contact dunks that's all you need to be considered elite to me on a big build because a big build can finish like no other it was big up for yourself on big lord I might you can't know I'm gonna donate 10 guard I'm gonna give him a gun